on is another one of the Philippines' most amazing places. Its huge limestone cliffs are like the walls of a fortress towering out of the sea. And just like a fortress, the rocks on top are sharp like razors. There are some very interesting freshwater lakes on the interior, but more about that later. Because Caron, believe it or not, is home to something far greater than this paradise. Underneath the waves lies arguably the number one place in the world to scuba dive shipwrecks. This is what I'm here to see. Sitting at the bottom of the sea are not one, not two, but over eleven absolutely huge World War II shipwrecks. This is an eerie place. These ships have been down here for over 70 years. Countless Japanese sailors will have lost their lives when they were bombed by the Americans at the end of the war. It is dark, it is cramped and it's incredibly scary. not for the faint-hearted. Massive gaping holes in the ships are the scars left from torpedoes and bombs. But it's not all doom and gloom. The tops of the wrecks are teeming with life. Coral gardens scatter across the decks with a whole variety of different marine life. Such as these jacks feeding on a jellyfish. Or these razor shrimp fish otherwise known as upside-down fish. Strong ocean currents bring in nutrients and food, creating feeding frenzies like this. This weird and beautiful creature is a flatworm and has been unchanged for millions of years. These wrecks truly belong to the ocean now and are barely recognisable as ships anymore. I could literally spend weeks exploring these wrecks, and maybe one day I will, but right now I'm running out of time. After exploring the wrecks, it's time to change our tanks and gear up for the next dive. We're headed to some place which is very interesting. It's one of the freshwater lakes on the main island of Coron. It's a bit of an adventurous hike with the equipment, but once you are there, you will experience a strange phenomenon in the water. At about 50 meters, there is a mix of salt and fresh water, creating a layer of different liquids. It's impossible to capture this fully on camera, but you can see the different layers in these shots.
With the lake being fresh water, it has a whole different variety of fishes, such as these catfish, and is incredibly clear. So that's enough diving for the day, now it's time to head back to the town. The small town of Karan is very quiet, especially at night. Don't expect wild parties and nightlife here. Hello. But there are some nice restaurants and a market to explore. The next stop for me is a budget liverboard dive trip around the famous Apo Reef. Watch the next video for the best diving I have ever experienced in the Philippines. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.